came. Let's see what happens. Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Oh, it's Tuesday, uh, which means it's uh, U.S. politics day, or whatever, like that. I want to show you something. Uh, go into my uh, trusty little, this is the my travel thing, you know, it has my passport in it, like that. By the way, just so you know, I'm in a... I'm an American African made in the my haven section of the Bronx. Hey, keep quiet, chicken. Oh, Worcester. Uh, which that means is that I hold an American passport. That makes me the American. I have an African mentality, which is how I roll. And I was made in the South Bronx of New York City. There you go. That's what that means. But uh, it's my childhood. Oh, yeah. So shout out to... Shiree Fitzpatrick, who, uh, who gifted this to me a long time ago. I haven't taken very good care of it. I should put some leather things on and stuff like that, but it holds up very well. Uh, I want to show you something. See, I have all these cards here. My, uh, my VA, Veterans Administration card in there. Uh, some Medicare thing, Social Security card. Oh, hey, look at that. Hey, this is a... Oh, I have that here. This is a shelter from the from the shelter uh dance club club shelter new york city right strangely enough oh, if you see see i have a that picture there you see i have a net brace on that's when i, I was i was a net brace for a year but i made i made it <laughs> down in, in silver street maryland but i i made it up to the shelter i was there i, I couldn't be but less than Whatever minutes on the dance floor, I lost a breath because I was, it was a whole accident in my hand anyway. But I made it up there. Talk about the club, club shelter. Look at this. See that? Hey, strangely enough, I didn't know that, but I have one of the t shirts on there. This is the one that has the dancers in the back. I think it has the, yeah, this is the one that has the dancers in the back. Hold on, I might show you the back. Maybe I won't show you the back because I can't get it up. Oh. Do all this. I know I'm wasting time, but that's the way it goes. Let's see if I can show you, because it has all kinds of branches in the back of the of the. Uh... In fact, this is nice and warm. Maybe I should just take this thing. <laughs> Maybe it's warm today. Well, it's gotten warmer. Let me take this off. Ah, ah. There we go. Ah. Lay that down here, like that. See in the back, I'm wearing this little thing here. So you have the dancers in the back. This is a dance club, club shelter, right? But well, it's well, interesting enough. Let me say, um, shelter. I used to go there, but I had different dance partners. Like my main dance partner was was uh, Darcy. And uh, but I, look, it's hard to explain. But I had different dance partners. Though I seen one of them, Shiree shows up a couple of times. Um, oh, he, he caught a song. Uh, Josefina, sometimes. Um, uh, Suzanne, uh, uh, Suzanne, who is Brazilian, she show up every once in a while. Um, but Darcy was my my main dance partner. We go, we go, we, we house kitties. You know, we go. Dancing together, just dancing, just hold your horses, you know. I have different relationships with different people, so Darcy was just dance partner. Know that. <laughs> um, um, but we was at a, we was at a, uh, and we go to these, like, uh, there'd be clubs that would pop up, you know, unbeknownst, you know, only only the dancers, only the club kiddies know where to go, where to go. But one time we went to a, a place down there, uh, down, down the area. The shelter was in that area too, but right across from where the the, uh, the Holland Tunnel comes out, there was a a, a building there. Anyway, so we, they had an impromptu dance in there, and a cop showed up. They just came in and started taking pictures, making people stand and take their picture. People get out of here! And when I realized, and there was no reason for them to to bust in like that, but these cops showed up like that, and I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? You know, but they didn't take my picture of. Them. Uh, got out of it, you know, but people were like, 
what's going on. But what happens this is what the cops do. They, uh, on their own, they'll do something and they'll sort of test it out. So say for instance, they're building, a, you know, to take photos just to have you in the system or something like that. But anyway, they'll test stuff out. Like the military, they'll go, like this whole war, say it was happening in Gaza. They're testing, they're testing uh, stuff out, you know? They're testing um, weaponry, stuff like that. And this is globally, right? So the forces that be, they're always testing. See how far you will go to give up for your liberty and all, all, all the rest of that stuff. That's what they do. I bring that up because one of the cars, I got a vibrant cord from, uh, I think that's a, Oh, that's a that's Cape Town library. I got cords, man. I always have a library card. Oh, this is a metro pass for New York, but I won't be going to New York this year. This card is probably worn out. Not worn out, but you know, listen, they say thing more. Yeah, they probably have another system in place. But one of the cards that I have, I've had for years, is the only organization I actually joined. I don't join organizations like you no know, NWAC people like that. But I want to it's a self-determination is the highest expression of democracy. That's what it says on the top of the red part, red, black, and blue part. And the bottom here is the Uhuru, Uhuru movement. And this was out of St. Petersburg. You see? Um, remember since the rule, 2003. No, it says exp expiration date, 2003, 8, 2003. See, AJ, something like that. 8, 2003. So I don't know when I, I got this in the 90s, I think. So it must have been 10 years. So I was a Uhuru member. And they actually came to South Africa, but uh, I talked to them over, no, on, on the email, but, you know, that's what it is. But I, I carry this because it's the only one I, 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 I carry. Uh, so I belong to the Uhuru movement. Well, I did. I belong to the Uhuru movement. And right now they're on, uh, uh, they're on trial because, again, the U.S. testing things out. They went and tried to bust them, you know, and bust down their place. And what did they do? For whatever reason, I know they're testing. That's what they do. That's the way. That's the way that the system rolls, like that. So, so that that well, they're <laughs> always testing, always seeing their limits, you know. Um, that's why everything that happens in the world, especially in the world, right, is always a test for their power their power, the, the nefarious forces, the people that uh, that want to, well, to continue their colonization, enslavement, whatever you want to want to call it, and it's it's a it's a. I guess it's foolish to think that uh, you can hide someplace because after they get rid of this movement and that movement, then they'll come for you. That's what they do. Went to a little bit. Hey, hold still, good. you know. Um, Let's take a little breeze here. Uh, so there's a, they're in, this is how they operate, right? So the Uhuru movement that's, that's going on right now, um, with the chairman and stuff like that, and then two, and then two other defenders or whatever it is, <coughs> did that raid <coughs> in Chicago and now in St. Petersburg. Um, well, they're there to uh, make sure that you are in check, that they can stifle you. That's what they do. They stifle you so that uh, they can continue their nefarious ways. And if you allow this to happen, you know, for whatever trumped up things that they say, then, well, eventually they'll get rid of whatever you would want. And then eventually they come for you. But you don't worry about that. That's what you that, You, you want to hide someplace. It's fine. Hide if you want. But you can run, but you can't hide. Uh, now you say, well, well, brother, you in South Africa, you're not even in the battle there in the States. <coughs> Well, that's because I'm an internationalist, right? I'm creating institutions beyond their reach. No, no nothing's beyond their reach. I said, I'm creating other institutions so that we do have refuge places and stuff like that. I have agendas, you know, uh, because I've been in the struggle for a long time. So I've engaged in whatever you're doing now, da 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 da. And uh, let me just say this until you become like Robert F. Williams, an internationalist, which is what I am, until you become that, then. Uh, then you'll be subject to whatever they're doing. You gotta go go you gotta be a step beyond them. I'm not a globalist, I'm an internationalist. Okay. I'm not uh, yeah, I've been a pan well, I guess I am a pan Africanist because I'm married to an African woman and I live in Africa, so I'm a pan Africanist. Uh 
I'm, I'm a nationalist because I'm black, you know, black nationalist. I've been there, you know. So you have to define what you are, and then you got to defend your turf. So I'm out here making plans to defend my thing, my peoples, and to make plans so that uh, my peoples will, will, can be defended in the future. Let's put it that way, which goes to the other point, uh, the biggest point. It's a Tuesday, a couple of things. Uh, one, sign the UN Article 6 petition. Uh, again, I've got to type it in this thing. Sign the petition, right? The, the petition is to kick the U.S. out of the UN, the United Nations, because that's how they did that. They, they test that too. They test that too. So let's, let's, let's give it to them right back. Kick them out of the U.S. and guess what? Then things will change because then you'll have a whole, how do you say it, a, a whole international uh, all the countries to deal with against the United States now think they hold the sway because they they think they, they, their money is doing but the money's about to go anyway you know they're no longer the, the bully kid on the block right now now it's time to bloody the nose right and um, that's what we got to do oh by the way it's Tuesday and I should say now I'll do my campaign next week because the Labor Day just happened it's happening yeah, just Labor Day just happened right so I guess we're in political season but um, also no that uh, uh, for this election that's coming up, look, here's the thing. Uh, reparations, you should write in reparations. I say write in lineage reparations, my full name. Uh, or given name, lineage, uh, surname, reparations. So you can just write in reparations if you want. You write that in as a candidate or write that any place on the ballot if you do want to participate. <laughs> you know, if you want to do your 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 your, your your thing with one of the major candidates, you can do that. Or well, if you actually, since uh, what's the Butch guy, the uh, the Green, the, the guy that's running for vice president in the Green Party, he's for reparations. So I guess technically, you can vote for the Green Party and you'll be voting for reparations as a platform. Who knows? They do the platform, right? I mean, not that going to be. A, let's put it this way: you want you. You, 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 you want to uh, support the Green Party because you just want to throw a span in a wrench, uh, a span, a span, a wrench, a, a wrench in the works. Um, because if it goes down to this whole electoral college, then, then somehow the Green Party will be involved somehow, right? So that's that's for all you sophisticated electoral people who, who don't really understand, right? Other than that, just write in reparations so it'll be. Hundred years from now, they can say all these ballots are reparations. What's this reparations thing? Because they're not talking about it. the major candidates are not talking about it. So you might as well, you know, write in reparations so they'll have to talk about it. That's just a little um, suggestion. Be well.